Real quick before we start, here's a little like preview of what we found in this video. These are all the values. Uh, please let me know what you want me to do next, whether it be pistols or snipers or shotguns or, or whatever it is, um, and I'll take that into consideration for the next uh, gun video. All right, enjoy. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jers here. So today we're back with another tutorial, and today we're looking at any... Uh, machine gun that fits in that secondary slot before we begin i do want to say if you guys are looking for a server host please consider lime hosting uh the link to it will be down in the description he's a great guy i'm not paid for plugging his stuff but man he's just a great friend of mine uh good server host i've used him even before i was a youtuber so that's crazy to me so yeah please consider it if you want to use the the jurors coupon code you'll actually get 20 percent off your server so Hey, that's pretty awesome. Consider doing it. All right, like and subscribe if you would like, and let's get right into this. First, we're looking at the Scalar. This gun drops out of um, airdrops. Drops out of airdrops. This You can get this gun in airdrops on most maps. I think there are some where you could just get it, find it sitting around, but uh, for the most part, you're just going to have to find an airdrops. All right, let's check this bad boy out. Let's see what the, the bullet spread is like. We're doing bullet spread this time. We're doing 25 shots and measuring the time that it'll take to fire these 25 shots. All right, so that's pretty much straight up and down with a slight waver. Very, very accurate gun. Very easy to control the uh, the spray. All right, so the Scalar does 30 damage, which is actually pretty good for one of these uh, secondary machine guns. The fire rate is 2.46 seconds per 25 shots, which is really good. Again, this isn't an exact number. This is just like an estimation as well as I can do it. The range is 100 meters, which is really, really poor, and it can be found in Germany at the coalition base in Berlin, according to the Unturned Wiki. Uh, and it can be found in care packages on any map that has care packages. All right, next we're looking at the Empire. It can be found in care packages on most maps, and I think it can also be found in Germany and France, just around. So let's see what this bolt spreads like and see what the speed is like. Okay, so it lifts up and to the left, only slightly to the left though. It was actually, it would be very, very easy to control the spread on this guy. All right, the Empire does 30 damage with a fire rate of 3.58 seconds per 25 shots, which is a lot uh, slower than the Scalar. The range is 160 meters, which is actually really good. You can almost, so most assault rifles are 200 meters, so you can actually almost use the Empire as an assault rifle because of its distance, but it's going to do a lot less damage, and that is not that fast of a fire rate. It does beat out most assault rifles, if not all of them. The Honey Badger might be faster. I don't know if you consider that an assault rifle or not, but... It's a pretty dang good secondary as far as, it, it, yeah, 160 meters range is epic for these secondaries. That's actually the most for any of these secondary um, machine guns. All right, next we're looking at the machine wire, however you say it. I don't know, I'm probably butchering it, but this is similar to the uh, the last one that we tried out, the, um, the Empire. It can only be found in care packages on most maps. Uh, but it can be found, I think, on Germany and France, just around. All right, let's test it out here. All right, so it has pretty much just a vertical recoil. Um, looks like it goes side to side a little bit, mostly vertical. Uh, felt relatively easy to control. I think it's a little bit worse than the, the Scalar, that's for sure. All right, so this gun has a damage of 30, a fire rate of 4.12 seconds, which is actually slower than the other two guns we've tried so far. That's very slow, but the range, again, is very good on this one as well at 140 meters. Not a bad choice with that range. Not a bad choice, but I, I would still go with one of the other ones. It felt like it had more kick than the Empire and the Scalar, especially the Scalar, because the Scalar kicks straight up and not as much. At least that's the way it felt. All right, next we're testing the Yuri, which can be found on military locations on most maps, I believe. Um, we're testing 25 shots, but the magazine actually holds 64, making it a very good gun for um, if you want to do a horde beacon or something like that or kill a boss. That's a whole lot of shots. All right, let's see what the bullet spreads like. All right, so as you can see, it, it goes up and to the right, and it goes to the right quite a bit. Um, it might be a lot harder to control than the other two guns that we've tried out. 
All right, so the Yuri has damage of 22, which is very, very low compared to the other three guns we've tried so far. Um, it does have a very fast fire rate of 2.55 seconds per 25 shots, a range of 100, which isn't great. Not terrible for a secondary gun, but not great. Um, I, I Honestly, I just like it because it has such a big clip. Uh, but with that 22 damage, I would say the Scalar is going to be a lot better than the Yuri. Um, and I would even say, well, I don't know, the, the the fire rate of it makes it possibly better than the Empire and Machine Gun. <laughs> Except the range is significantly less. So it depends what you want in a secondary, I guess. If range doesn't bother you, then I would say go with the Scalar so far. But if range, if range is important for you, then try to find an Empire or Machine Gun. All right, next we have the Viper, which is considered a police weapon. It can be found in various places on many different maps. On PEI, it's only in care packages, according to the uh, Unturned Wiki, the Fandom Wiki. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a police weapon, kind of. Let's see how it does. All right, so this guy goes very, very much to the left. Uh, and up. This was going to be kicking to the left so hard you might have a hard time controlling it. Okay, so the Viper does only 24 damage with a fire rate of 3.05, which isn't terrible, but it's not especially fast compared to the Yuri or compared to the Scalar. And the range is 125 meters, which is actually a lot better than the Yuri or the Scalar, so that makes it better in that sense. But the damage is very, very low, just like the Yuri, so I don't think it's a good choice. All right, next we have the Bulldog, which is found at military locations on most maps. And I just don't like this gun. I don't, I don't know why I don't like it, but I don't like it. Let's see how the kick is on it. Oh, man, that's actually a really close spread. It looks like it wavers to the left and the right a bit, so it's not especially accurate and pulls up a little bit. But that's actually a pretty good spread on that. I don't know why I don't like this gun. I guess i got to start using it more. <laughs> Okay, so the Bulldog does 20 damage, which is quite low, but it has a fire rate of 1.93 seconds per 25 shots and has a low range of 90, which that's really freaking low, guys. That's actually the lowest range out of any of these weapons, but the fire rate makes it possibly a viable choice at very close range, but the damage just is just so low that I don't know, I, I don't think we can say it's... It's even close to the best out of these. And also the fire rate could have been slightly higher than that. We're trying to do it to the best of our ability, but we might have some problems with the fire rate. It might not be exact, guys. It takes me maybe, I don't know, a small amount of time to click stop. And maybe I'm not timing it right. But dang, did the bulldog feel fast. All right, next we're looking at the calling card, which is on in care packages on most maps. But you can find it in Russia at Krovi. Um, this is according to the unturned fandom wiki and yeah it's another high uh clip or it has a high capacity for the clips 71 shots which is pretty cool not a not a bad uh not a bad gun i like this one quite a bit let's see how it does all right so that's not a bad spread it pulls to the right which is interesting we're gonna retest that and i'll say something if it doesn't pull to the right i might have jerked my mouse we'll have to see okay as you can see it definitely pulls hard to the right this was 71 shots so it's going to be a lot more spread out than uh the 25 shots we initially did but yeah, pulls hard to the right, which is kind of uncommon for guns and unturned. Okay, guys, so the calling card does a lot of damage at 33 damage. Has a fire rate of 3.05 seconds, which isn't bad. Um, not Definitely not the fastest, but with that extra 3 damage, which is more than any of these that we've tested so far, this makes it a very, very good gun. And the range is 125 meters, which is actually very decent. So we're looking at the calling card as... as probably in the top three so far all right next we're looking at the peacemaker which is considered a military weapon in my mind uh it can be found at different places depending on the map guys i'm looking at the wiki right now pei it's available in care packages russia spawns at the uh that bunker um in the dead zone up north near silo uh washington it can find it be found at military locations germany it spawns at military locations whatever let's test it out it's a pretty good clip of 50.
All right, so this is another gun that just pulls straight up practically. It wavers to the side a little bit, but it stays pretty true and goes up pretty well. Um, or I mean, pretty much just up and then wavering side to side. So that's that's not a bad spread. All right, so the Peacemaker does 20 damage, which is tied with the Bulldog at the lowest damage for the guns we're looking at today. Uh, the fire rate is 2.63 seconds. Of course, I didn't put it in there. Dang it. Uh, the range is 100 meters, which isn't bad. Uh, not not terrible. Uh, the bolt spread was was decent. You could pretty easily control it. I'd say it's an all right gun, but definitely not in my top three, guys. Definitely not. All right, guys. Next, we're looking at the Honey Badger, or also known as the PDW. That's the current name of it. The name changed. It can be found on various places on various maps. <laughs> I don't want to go through it all, but it's a military gun. Um, can be found in care packages on many maps. And let's test out how this bad boy shoots. Well, that was a fail. I'm just going to say that the Honey Badger is the best gun, period. <laughs> I don't know if it's like an assault rifle or if it's, uh, like, I don't know what it is, guys. So we're just going to include it in every single video, including the pistol and the shotgun one, and we're just going to call it the best of every, every class. I am just joking. Let me get a new magazine and retry this. All right, here we go again. One other thing I forgot to mention is that it is silenced, which is kind of cool. All right, it has pretty much a, a vertical recoil. It's screwed to the side a little bit there, but pretty easy to control. All right, so the Honey Badger has 40 damage, which is far more than any of these guns. The only thing close to it is the calling card with 33 damage, and that's pretty much it. So that damage right there, I don't know, guys. I think that makes it the best one. And if we look at the fire rate, it's 3.45 seconds, which is actually pretty quick. A lot slower than some of these. Um, probably half these have a uh, lower fire rate. Even more than half, actually. Range, 125 meters, which is very, very good. It's only outdone in range by the Empire and the Machine. <laughs> so I would say that the Honey Badger is definitely the number one secondary as far as machine guns go. Definitely falls into that category of secondary machine guns. And then after that, I don't know, guys. I'm going to say the Scalar. It has a low range, but has good damage and a very, very fast fire rate. Not as good as something like the Bulldog, um, but it just has a really good fire rate, good damage, decent range at 100 meters. And then after that, I think we're going to have to call it the Calling Card. Oh, man. I mean, the reason we like the Scalar so much is because it has a very, very tight... Um, uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of kick uh so that that i don't know that's that's why i guess i prefer that um over the calling card which has 33 damage which is the most damage out of any of these except for the honey badger um it has a very fast fire rate of 3.05 seconds which is faster than the honey badger and has a range of 125 meters which is dang good looking at the rest of these guys the only exceptions are of course the empire and the machine gun, <laughs> or however you say it uh but so that that's going to be our top three the number one slot we got honey badger number two slot we got the scalar number three slot we have the calling card but the thing is is that all three of these guns are very very hard to find so if you're just running around what would i grab what is something that's easy to to find i just love the yuri guys it has a very large magazine or magazine or clip or whatever it's called it has 64 shots in it so i just think the yuri is freaking awesome but it's not the best one so if you can find one of those other three probably use it otherwise just stick to the yuri or something like that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to do next whether it be snipers or pistols or shotguns whatever it may be please write that in the comments and let me know and i will take that into consideration when i'm putting out the next one of these gun videos hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and that's pretty much it bye, -bye. <laughs>